Happening today, some high-ranking local Democrats are expected to show their support for Vice President Kamala Harris. This is as she becomes the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm is live at a local campaign headquarters for the Democrats. And Rebecca, the party appears now to be in lockstep that President Biden is out of the race. You're right, uh, Gravier and Brooks, good morning to you. The Democrats really want to show unity. It's clear about that because think about it. Just a week ago, the party was in a bit of turmoil. Well, also think about this. Here in Metro Atlanta, most of our heaviest populated counties are run by Democrats. So a little bit later this morning at 11 o'clock, a news conference is scheduled in support of Harris for president. Attending will be the highest elected officials in DeKalb, Gwinnett, Cobb, and Henry counties, along with the Georgia Senate Minority Leader and others. This event follows nearly every prominent Democratic elected official in Georgia now endorsing Harris. We spoke with State Representative Billy Mitchell of Stone Mountain here in DeKalb County. He is chair of the Georgia House Democratic Caucus, and he tells us when Biden was running, there was division within that caucus, but he says not anymore. I will tell you, if they had brought in uh, President Biden, Biden on a hospital gurney, I would have been a, a supporter of his. But not everyone uh, in this, this, this nation, in Democrats and even in our caucus, felt the same way. They felt that, that we needed a, another enthusiastic advocate for what our ideals and principles and policies were. And they're finding that in uh, Vice President Harris. Now, Mitchell is also a delegate for the Democratic Party, so he will be at next month's national convention in Chicago, and he tells us that he is expecting some what he calls kumbaya moments as the party reunites and makes peace with each other. We're live in DeKalb County, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.